If you could elaborate on that, what the government could do if the currency was digital. So firstly, it will be programmable, which essentially means the government has the ability to decide what you can and what you can't spend your money on. Now, this is really concerning because let's just say, you know, you go to fill up your car with gas. They could turn around and actually not allow you to spend your CBDC. They won't allow you to do that because perhaps you spent, you know, you've bought too much meat that week and you've reached your pollution allowance because we're in this climate crisis. Or we could even get to a point where people are being discriminated against, for example, unvaccinated people at one point weren't actually allowed to go into stores and, and were only allowed to buy essential items. So they weren't allowed to go in unchaperoned. So with a CBDC, it's far more efficient. You could just program the money to say, well, if you weren't a good citizen and you haven't done what the government told you to do, you can't go and spend the money how you wish. So that is sent, that essentially is um, some form of discrimination. And that becomes a lot more efficient through a CBDC, not to mention the fact that if you go and like something on Twitter, which the government doesn't agree with, perhaps you're liking something to do with freedom and um, the government might say actually no you can't now go buy that plane ticket to potentially go to protest um, because that's not what we want that goes against what we're trying to do and that's really concerning because if you don't you might have freedom of speech you might have your first amendment your second amendment but if you don't have the freedom of money then you do not have freedom because you can stand on your balcony you can stand on your rooftop and you can say how these authoritarian policies are unfair but if nobody can hear you then essentially you're going to have a real problem you're not going to be able to start fighting against the government if nobody can hear you.